Hello Pisces, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be your love reading. Um, it's going to be a little bit different than my other love readings. I got a few oracle decks and I'm trying a new spread that I'm really loving. So today's reading will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general reading so it will not resonate with every Pisces watching. And time is fluid so whatever I talk about today could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future. All right, let's get started. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? March 22nd to the 28th. I'm going to start with the current energies of your person, the person that you're thinking about. Spirit, what is Pisces person thinking about or what are their current energies? Current energies, Spirit, for Pisces and the person they're thinking about. Current energies for the person that Pisces is thinking about, please. What are their current energies? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, or left me a comment. I read all of your comments and I really appreciate it. Also, huge thank you to everyone who has purchased an extended reading. I absolutely love you guys. Thank you so much. I'm glad you guys are enjoying those. I do get a few comments on those. So let's see what we have. We have a change in the wind. Okay. Higher power. This could be uh, someone that's spiritual gui spiritually guided, your person. Or your person could be going through changes that are causing them to seek spiritual guidance or just their intuition has probably been speaking to them lately. Anything else for Pisces? The person they are thinking about. What are the current energies of the person that Pisces is thinking about? A leg up. Interesting, yeah. I feel like your person's probably going through something where they need support. We'll see. Let's get some more messages on these. Oh, have a... Let's get some more messages on these. This is the Osho Send Tarot deck. Um, they're very, well, I guess I, I was going to say they're very similar to the traditional tarot, but it's not at all. It's made after the original tarot but it's very different at the same time you'll see i'm sorry guys i had to cut the video because my dogs were being crazy in the background <sighs> i threw them out don't worry <laughs> lovingly lovingly <laughs> all right let's see let's see what we have here spirit tell me about a change in the wind tell me about a change in the wind What's this change that the person Pisces is thinking about is going through? Roles can be reversed, guys. Just keep that in mind. Just because I'm saying the person that Pisces is thinking about doesn't mean you can't switch the roles. Just take it as it resonates. Healing. Okay, so this person could be healing from a situation here. I think this is the King of Cups. Let me double check that. I'm still learning this deck, but I think that's what that is. Hmm. Healing. Yeah, King of Cups. So this is like the King of Cups. See, this is what I'm saying, that it's not very similar at all. But it could be someone that um, has a lot of love for you, or you have a lot of love for this person. Um, or they could be healing from something having to do with a connection they're in or a connection with you. Um, tell me more about healing. Why healing? If this person could just be healing from whatever changes they're going through. Maybe they were very difficult changes. And so, wow, trust. More water energy here. I don't know what that one's supposed to be. But I'm seeing it as somebody who's trusting that things will work out. That's the Knight of Cups. Hmm. So I'm not going to focus on like the traditional tarot. I'm just going to take the energies as they, as I feel them. And what I'm seeing here is someone is, has healed from a situation that's allowed them to trust again, to trust in love, um, to trust their emotions as well. Tell me about higher power. Tell me how about higher power for Pisces. What's higher power about? Mind. Yeah, I really am feeling this is an, um, someone's been intuitively guided because that's energies that I'm getting for other signs as well. 
Um, and that's just what I thought about when I thought of higher power. Um, this is air energy with mind here. I feel like it has some, your, your person has been really thinking about something that their intuition has led them to is what I'm getting. Let me move these over. So let's see what this person thinks about you, Pisces. Messages for Pisces, please, Spirit. What does this person think of Pisces? Whoa. One more, please. What does this person think of Pisces? How do they view Pisces or this connection, please? Oh, one that one. Oh, beautiful. I love the fox. So here I have Phoenix. So definitely it has to do with change. Someone has gone through a transformation of some sort and the Phoenix is all about burning away everything that no longer serves you, that ties you down and then rising from the ashes, right? I feel like this person is rising from the ashes here. Nightingale is about someone needing to speak up and share something, communicate. And the fox, they mate for life, the fox. They're life partners. So this is um family-oriented person. Um, I think they think of you as a long-term partner is basically what I'm getting. Someone they can count on with a leg up. So let's get into the tarot and see what this is all about. Let me move this over here. I can have more room. Hopefully you guys can see. Oh, wait, I forgot to clarify a leg up. What am I doing? Hold up. Sorry, guys. I think I was just distracted with my dogs. Tell me about a leg up, please. Okay, that's way too many. But creativity wanted to pop up. Tell me about a leg up, please, for Pisces. I think I was just distracted. Sorry about that, guys. Sorrow. Yeah, I really feel this person needs... Comfort is what I'm getting. Um, they need a listening ear, a supportive friend. Whatever they've been going through, it wasn't good. Like it really affected them. This is the nine of swords in the tarot. Um, so um, this is someone who's not sleeping very well, who is anxious. Um, mentally, I feel like their mind has really been putting them through the ringer. Okay, let's get back to the tarot. Messages for Pisces, please, Spirit. What does Pisces need to know in regards to love? What is going on for Pisces and love? Okay, we got Ace of Swords. Clarity, truth, communication. New beginning. Three of wheels or three of pentacles here. I immediately thought of rebuilding. It's a card about collaborating, um, working together. Anything else? For Pisces. Knight of Wands. It's Knight of Wands because it's under the Nightingale. I'm guessing this is the one that's coming in with the passionate message. Anything else for Pisces, please? Oh my gosh, Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. Okay. What else do you have for Pisces, Spirit? In regards to love. The Hermit. That makes sense. Um, this person has really gone deep within. Like I said early, um, when I first started the reading, I saw higher power. I really feel like their intuition is guiding them. One more, let's get one more. One more message please for Pisces regarding this situation. What does Pisces need to know? Yeah, there's the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is this person definitely wants a new beginning. There's a page of wands at the bottom of the deck. This person definitely wants a new beginning here. They want to communicate a message. 
they are needing, they're going through changes and they're viewing you as a lifelong partner, someone to build with. And I feel like their intuition has led them here, but there's something, and we're going to clarify all these, but there's something here that is holding your person back mentally. Um, could be a fire sign an air sign. I have all the signs here. A Virgo uh, of significance here with the hermit. But this is someone who has really gone on a personal journey, you know, and I keep thinking about this Phoenix and look at this Phoenix and this Ace of Wands together. Like, look at that. Very similar energies there. This is someone who wants to begin anew, who wants to rebuild. So let's clarify these. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. What's this Ace of Swords about? I feel like this Ace of Swords and this Knight of Wands are connected to this Nightingale energy here where this person wants to communicate something with you. And this is something that I've gotten with a lot of the other signs I've done. Oh, wow. Look, the world. Yep. I mean, the world is all about changes. Completion. Learning everything that you need to learn to then move on to the next cycle. That's what the world is about you've graduated i feel like this person is going to tell you what they've learned about themselves about the connection yeah because of a tower moment see it's all starting to make sense because this person i when i saw this card here with a change in the wind healing and trust i'm telling you this person went through something big and then I have the Phoenix here. This person went through something big. I feel like this tower moment is going to transform your connection with the Phoenix and the tower um, here with the Ace of Swords. I feel like it's going to transform your connection because there's going to be new communication, new clarity in the connection. And look what's at the bottom of the deck when I say that. Two of Cups. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. What's this Three of Pentacles about? There's the page of wands again. Yeah, this person wants to communicate that they want to collaborate with you. They want to work with you on this. Tell me about the knight of wands. That they want to start anew. That they want to do this with you is what I'm getting. Seven of swords. This person could be strategizing or this person could have been a player. Because I have the knight of wands with the seven of swords. This person could also be spying on you because in this deck, this person's kind of looking into whatever that group is doing back there. <laughs> so this person could be spying on you, strategizing, trying to figure out what to do. I'm not getting like the negative energy of cheating and lying, even though that could be for some of you. I, that's why I threw it out there. But I have the higher font under the deck. So this is someone with, I feel, with values. Um, or it could be a Taurus or just someone that's thinking long term. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Why the Seven of Swords? For, well, for Pisces. Okay, yeah, strength. So they're working up the courage. Could be a sign of Leo here too. But what I'm seeing is this person is strategizing because they don't have the courage. Um, Four of Swords that flipped over there um but they want you i have queen of wands under the deck so this is someone that's very attracted to this per i feel like this this person whoever this is is attracted to this queen of wands energy wants to take action on this queen of wands energy tell me about the ace of wands for pisces tell me about this ace of wands please what's this ace of wands about Oop. Two of Cups. Yeah, can't be any clearer than that. Tell me about the Hermit. This person wants a passionate new beginning with their soulmate. With who they feel heals them, you know? Who they feel they can actually see themselves with long term. Tell me about the Hermit. And it happened because they went on this journey, Page of Cups. They went on this journey of self-reflection, self-discovery, where they are listening to their inner voice. Who's calming the mind, I feel. Healing the mind. Getting them out of this Nine of Swords energy here. Page of Cups. This person could be coming to you with an apology here. Tell 
I have six of cups under the deck. Tell me more. Whoa, five of cups just filled out. Definitely could be someone from your past. Tell me more about this hermit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, the star. I feel like either this person sees you as a star, Aquarius energy, um, or they want they have they, they want to restore faith in this connection. They're trying not to lose hope with the Page of Cups. It's like they've healed or they want to heal the connection with this Page of Cups is what I'm getting. The reason I'm saying they want to heal the connection is because I have the Nine of Swords there. Um, and I feel like with the Nine of Swords and the leg up, it's like... It's like they're, th they're thinking so hard about this because there's something... Let's clarify the Nine of Swords before I get ahead of myself. Whoa. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. What's the Nine of Swords about? The Nine of Swords about. Thank you. Ten of Pentacles. So they could be... Um, they could be thinking that they're not stable financially or not stable. Um, tell me more about this Nine of Swords for Pisces. What's Nine of Swords about? King of Swords. Interesting. This person could be attached and they need to cut that out. Or there's something here... Ten of Cups under the deck. Why are they worried about the Ten of Pentacles? In the... There's something here about truth, about coming clean about something. Someone's worried about something that they have to communicate. Um, I have Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Three of Cups, Seven of Cups. I don't understand why this person is worried or anxious about Ten of Pentacles. Um... It could be that this person is not very stable right now that needs help right now and they cannot provide the Ten of Pentacles and maybe they feel like you're not going to be receptive to them. Like you're not, not going to be interested. Um, because I have a feeling this person had to go through a change for you to take them seriously. I just got that. Um, it's like because we have the six of cups under the deck it's like you've known this person and it's not going to you're not going to accept the same old same old so if they in the past if they were a player not serious not taking things seriously keeping things from you sneaking around i feel like you put an end to that and now they're realizing after going through personal growth after going through a tower moment and a profound change they're realizing that they they have to heal this connection. Their intuition is guiding them to do this. So let's get some more Oracle cards here. This is the soul's journey. Spirit, tell me more for Pisces. More messages for Pisces regarding this situation, please. What does Pisces need to know about this situation? What does Pisces need to know? Oh, I'm not working. What does Pisces need to know about this connection? Let's see what we have. Relationships. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Okay. What else? Hey, hey, hey. You're going to have to take that somewhere else, sir. Patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order and surrender. I can release my need to control. Interesting. That could be what this mind and nine of swords energy is about. I feel like this person. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry. Leon. Go. I feel like this person in the past has had control has been able to control their circumstances and that this this person has had to change that. I have change at the bottom of the deck. 
I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Yeah. So I feel like this person probably is worried that they cannot control the outcome of the situation. If they approach you and you reject them, they have no control over that. Um, they have to trust that everything will work out as it should, right? But it's 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 still something they think about because there's something that they that needs to be said here that needs to be communicated that I feel has not been communicated. There's something that is missing here. And if this is resonating with you in the comments, then please let me know what is missing here. There's a gap here. Spirit, what would this person tell Pisces if they had the chance? What would this person tell Pisces if they had the chance? Okay, these are my, my own handmade cards. Let's see, what would this person tell Pisces if they had the chance? Yep, let's start over. Well, that'll be up to you, Pisces. I feel like this, per this person, I have, I'm sorry. This person knows that they're, they have, they're not in the best situation to be offering anything or they need help first. A message is on its way. Well, yeah, for sure. This person needs to communicate with the nightingale. They, they have something they, they want to say. Let's get one more. What else for Pisces? What would this person tell Pisces if they had the chance? Leon? No, sir. I'm sorry, you guys. He doesn't understand that I'm doing videos and that he's not supposed to play in here. <laughs> Karmic situation. Oh, this person could be in a karmic situation right now. And that's why things are happening out of this person's control. And they're like way in their head about it. Bottom of the deck. I feel alone. Yeah. Sorrow. So this, I feel like this message, this apology, you know, whenever it comes to you, Pisces, It'll be up to you. You have control in this situation. This person is surrendering, okay, their control because now the ball is in your court. That's what I'm going to title this video. The ball is in your court, Pisces. It's up to you to figure out if this person has undergone the transformation they say they've, they've undergone and if you trust that. Thank you so much for checking out this reading. I hope that it resonated with some of you. Please let me know in the comments if it did. Um, like or subscribe if you like my readings. Thank you so much once again for supporting the channel. I really appreciate you all. Have a great day and I'll see you in my next video.